Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the distance between two points and also um, the topic about the distance formula. Okay. So let me just change the color of my ink. Maybe the this one. Let me change it to black. Okay. So again. Um. So yeah. What we would be doing today is we would be plotting points. Okay. And then we would be determining what is the distance between those two points. Okay. So um. Say we have this one, this specific point, and let's call it point P. And then we have this point, say, let's call this as point E. Maybe let's call it point A, yeah. Okay, and let's call this point, okay. So we have point A and point P in our given Cartesian plane. And what we need to do is we need to find the distance between point A and point P. Okay, so first for us to know the distance is uh, we can either have counting or we can have the point itself. So, so for example, let's try counting. So if I will try to count from point A to B, I would have 1, 2, 3, 4. Meaning the distance, let me, the distance, let me change the marker, okay. The distance between between point A and B is we have 4 units and we did that by counting okay maybe let's try to approach that in a in a more anal, um, analytic way okay so maybe let's try to find the coordinates of A the coordinates of A is 2 and 2 and as for the coordinates of B that would be um we have if this is 2 and 2 and 6, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 2 and 6. Okay? So, if we would try to look at the figure, okay? The only movement that we will have would be for the y. Okay? Meaning, it would be the distance within the y-axis. And remember, when we are trying to look for the distance between points in the number line, for example, I want to know the distance between 0, I mean, negative 2 and say 4, okay? I want to find the distance between them. I would just simply take, okay? I would take the, I would count this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or, or what I can do is I would get the absolute value of the difference of the 2, the absolute value, or it could be 4 minus negative 2, the absolute value, and it will give me, of course, 6 still, and counting this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Okay, so it would still be 6. Now, in this case, um, since we are just uh, go counting in the y-axis, what we can do there is we can still apply the same concept, getting the absolute value of the distance in the y-axis. And in the y, we would only take this part, the 6 and 2. So if we will take that, we will have the distance between a, b, AB is equals to the absolute value of 6 minus 2 or the absolute value of 2 minus 6. And getting the absolute value of that or the operation I am evaluating this will give us um, 4, absolute value of 4 or the absolute value of negative 4. And it will still give us 4. Therefore, we will find it as 4 units. Okay, the distance between A and B. Now, in this case, say we have another... Now, we know how to get the points if it is ano, just a straight line. Okay, If we have this distance, yeah, this given points, and this point is, say, point E and point D. Now, in point E and D, what we can do there is we can either count. So, we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, the distance is 10. So, let me just write that down. Distance and um, ED, ED is equals to 10 units. Okay? But if we will try to approach that ma more in a much more mathematical way okay, or analytical way, so we'll try to find the coordinates of E and D. So, um, the coordinates of E is just simply 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5, and 1, 2, 3, negative 3. 
And as for the D, it's obviously negative 3 as well, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5. Ayan. So what we can do here is now, since uh, we can consider that we can disregard y kasi it never moved up or down, we can just simply count yung ating x. Okay? And we can do that by subtracting and getting the absolute value. So, meaning, the absolute value of 5 minus negative 5 or we can interchange the absolute value of negative 5 minus 5. This would give us with the very first one as positive 10, the absolute value of 10, or the absolute value of negative 10, giving us, again, 10 units. So, it's actually quite easy, guys, to count yung ating, um, ito solve for our um, distance, okay? By just simply getting the absolute value. And why are we getting the absolute value? Because remember, there is no negative distance. Measurement will never have negative units, uh, negative answers, okay? And take my word for that, okay? So now, that would be for specific points na horizontal, straight horizontal or straight na vertical. But what if our given is like this? Let me just um, take another for a while. Let me just take another partition plane here at the bottom part. And paste it here. Okay. And let me just clear this out. Okay. So now, what if our point would be this kind? From this up until here. Okay. There is, they, they moved up and down. Okay. They moved up and down. And yun nga, the problem here is um, they are not either vertical or horizontal anymore. So how can we find the distance between them? Say this is our point um, M, and this is our point M. So the point M will have um, the ordered pair of, um, this is one, let, let me move this a little bit. I think point M. Point M would have a ordered pair of 1, 2, 3, negative 3, and positive 1. And our point N will have a coordinate of N. This would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5, okay? So, how will we be able to find the distance between them? Then, um, maybe, let's connect them for now. Let's have dashed lines connecting them. Okay. So, we, we are looking for the distance between them, okay? So, it's basically finding the length of the line. We just connect it properly. Okay. Finding the length of this specific line. Now, if you would notice, if I would uh, go down here a little bit to the um, x-axis and also this one, I would create this one. I would be creating a, what do you call this? I would create a 90 degree angle and a right triangle. And remember, when it comes to right triangles, we have this very famous uh, Pythagorean theorem. Where in, in the Pythagorean theorem, we assume that this is A and B, by the way. This is C. We have that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, meaning in this case class, what would happen here is I am trying to find C, which is also the same as our distance of M and N. Okay? And I would be looking now for what is our A, what is our B. What is our A and what is our B? So, in this case, um, let's uh, find what is this point. What is this point? Let's uh, say this is our point X. What is this point X here? Because this is the distance of A, ito, this one. And this is for B, ito. Okay? So, what is our point X? What is the coordinate of point X? If you will check the coordinate of point X, it would be this 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it would be 6, and this would be, for the y, it would be 1. What is the similar um, point on this case? The similar point would be this one for the x here, and for the y in this given, okay? So, x is, how, is actually 6 and 1. For us to be able to find our um, uh, distance, let's... Let's try to get the difference of this. So, the distance for A, okay, it's just simply um, in A, it's 
for the y-axis, it would be 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1, right? If I hope you would agree. Kasi this is 5 for y, and this is, yan, ito yan, 5, and 1 for our here. Okay, so counting this one, we will have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we would have 4. In this case, it's still the same. It would be simply 4. Yan, 4 units. Now let's go for, I think I used, yeah, anyways, I think you can still see. Let's use for B. Okay, B. For B, uh, let's remove the square pala this is from. Okay, as for B, um, the given would be, um, B, B, B. Okay, the B would be the distance between this X here, 6, and we have negative 3. So, we have 6 minus negative 3, the absolute value. And we would have, of course, um, this is, I think this would be positive 9. Yeah, positive 9. And that would be for B. Positive 9 units. So, meaning, I have now the measure for A and B, wherein our A is 4 and B is 9. So, therefore, I can now look for C. Which is, of course, obviously the same as the distance between M and N. So, this is 4 squared plus um, 9 squared. Okay, and therefore, the distance between um, uh, M and N would be 4 squared is equals to some 16 and 9 squared is 81. This is our DM. Therefore, um, I, I mean C pala muna, C squared. Okay, so therefore, we will try to substitute this one. When we substitute, I, I mean we evaluate um, 16 plus 81. Let me just get my, where's my calculator? Okay, uh, 16 plus 81, the answer would be um, 97. And we get the square root of that. And will give us the square root of 97. And that would be the distance for the C. So now let's try to approach this one in a more, um, what they call this, in a more um, formula, in a formula way, okay, um, without all the values, okay, because our aim for today is we will derive what is the distance formula, okay, so let me just copy this one again, and we will denote our points with variables, strict variables, para we can identify it better okay so given this we have same points um I, we, let's change the points we have this point and then this point okay and let's uh, denote this one as our um, point p being x sub 1 and y sub 1 and our um point b c d is uh, n being x sub 2 and y sub 2. Kunwari hindi natin alam, okay? Let's uh, say we do not know the value. Let me move this a little bit. x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, and we need to find the distance between them. The distance between them, okay? The distance between them. And of course, we will have this still, the value here at the bottom. The value here at the bottom, okay? So, let's say this is our point um, O. Okay, and our point O would have the value for x sub 2 and the value for y sub 1. Bakit po? Kasi let's check. Ito yung x sub 2. x sub 2. And this is our y, y sub 1. Kasi we will take again, just like in our example before, the value for the point here will take the x for the um, horizontal okay, of the second, um, second point and the y for the first point. Okay, knowing these things, let's now try to find our um, distance. Okay, so given this, um, let, let me double check, uh, sub 2, sub 2, good, this one would be sub 2, and okay, so yeah. now let's try to find the distance formula. Okay, so we know that we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, and we know that this c squared is equals to the distance, this F, this c, specifically, this c is just simply your d distance. Let me make a, let me change an, uh, let me make a distance, let's make it small, okay. The distance between n and p. And since that is c, we will denote it as squared, 
Okay, kasi this is substitution lang. Okay, distance in NP. I think it's PN. Yeah, PN na lang. Para tama yung ating uh, P and N. Okay. Next one, what is our A? A is just simply the distance between N and O. N and O. Which squared? N plus B is just simply, sorry, is the distance between P and O. P and O. Squared. But we know that in this case, hindi natin alam. Kasi ito yung hinahanap natin. But in this case, the distance between N and O, we can solve. We can solve it by simply getting the distance ng x, ano to, y-axis to. Remember, itong A, y-axis yan. So, therefore, we would take only the y's. Okay? So, we would have um, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay? Plus, in this case, yan, in this case, what we, what we can do here is we just simply need to, since that is x-axis, we will be only working with x's. We can just simply get the difference of this. Plus x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared still. Kasi we are only substituting the distance of NO and distance of PO. Okay? And then lastly, we have this one. We will rewrite this one. PN squared. Okay? And then what would happen next here? Um... We know the values of this, uh, we assume that we know the values of x and y here. So, we need to solve for the distance of pn. And you will notice pn will have this squared in it. May square yan dyan sa ibabaw. So, what would happen would be the distance of pn would be, we would get the square root of that. Therefore, we would get also the square root of the other side. Being y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. Okay, so we have this value now, and this would be, weirdly, this is our distance formula already. So, let's try to check whether, if our distance formula works out or not, kung gumagana ba siya or hindi. Let's try to use the distance formula on our first given, being, um, ito, this given. So, let me try to, let me erase this one first. Erase, 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 okay. Erasing this one, we will have our value. Let me use the white ink na. Sabi natin, we will, uh, we, the distance formula is equal to the square root of y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared plus x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. Okay, and we will have our values for x sub 1, itong una. x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, so we now know the values. Let's substitute. Our y sub 2 is just simply 5. Minus, ang y sub 1 natin is 1 squared. Plus, ang ating x sub 2 is 6. Minus, ang ating x sub 1 is negative 3 squared. And, what we need to do next, we need to simplify. 5, 5 minus 1 squared is 16. And our um, given here is 6 minus negative 3, 9. 9 squared is 81. And finally, distance is equal to the square root of 97. We have the same answer actually. It's 97 also, square root of 97 also. And this would be our distance formula. So establishing our distance formula. Let's just establish the distance formula now. We say that the distance formula d is equal to the square root of, we can interchange by the way, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Now again, in this case po, makinig, we can interchange them and the same goes with x sub 1 and y sub 1 and x sub 2 and y sub 2. Okay, we can interchange them. What do I mean by that? Kasi you might ask, say we have point um, 3 and 4 and we have uh, another point P sub 1 as 4 and negative 3. You will say, sir, pwede ba tong X sub 1 and Y sub 1 at the X sub 2 and Y sub 2 or can we interchange it being um, sir, it, could it be X sub 2 and Y sub 2 and X sub 1 and Y sub 1? Yes po, okay lang. Long as the sub 1s will belong together and the sub 2s will also belong together. Okay? So, guys, without graphing, you can actually solve for the distance formula if you just simply know how your um, given, uh, your formula, and at the same time, you know your 
given. Okay, so we'll have one example before we end our class for today. Say we have um, the distance between 5 and 2 and 10 and 14. So again, we will find the distance between them. We denote that this one is our sub 1s. Ito, sub 1. And this is our sub 2s. Okay, so sub 1s and sub 2s, let's try to solve. Distance is equals to the square root of. Um, we have x sub 2 is 10 minus 5 squared. And our y sub 2 is 14 minus 2 squared. Distance is equals to, sorry, my radical is a little bit bad. 10 minus 5 is 5 squared. Plus 4 minus uh, 2 is 12 squared. Solving for that, we have 25 plus 144. And 25 plus 144, the answer is just simply, um, wait, 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 6, 6, 169. And I do believe that 169 would be the square root of 13. Let me just check. Okay, yes. So therefore, the square root of 169 is equals to 13. And this would be the, our distance. 13 units. Okay? So actually, in, of all our discussions above, that is a little bit complicated. The distance formula is actually just very easy to solve. Okay? You just simply know how to add and subtract and get the square and square root of any given. Again, add, subtract, square, and square root of numbers. Okay? So thank you for listening. If you would have any other questions, you can check the video again, skip yung mga, ano, um, some parts, or you can chat me in our chat box. Thank you again for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.